Hey guys, it's Cheese Dude Technology, and I left you off right at where this is our fifth installment in the plugin bucket plugin creation series, and uh, I left you off right after plugin.yml. So now I'm going to show you how to export it and test it out because we are done. Um, in celebration, I'd appreciate if you subscribe because uh, if you followed along with the tutorial, uh, then it should work just fine. So go to File, Export. Click the subscribe button, click next, oh sorry, go to open up the java folder and then double click jar file, check off your hello world plugin, um, check off export generate class files and resources and export java source, or er, you don't have to do this part I don't think, just uh, maybe just leave it as default for now and then browse locate your server folder and under plugins call it hello world jar and save press finish export it without any errors go ahead and launch your server or reload it if you already have it launched you'll see hello world version 1.0 is enabled go ahead and launch minecraft log in Give me a sec here. Go to multiplayer, connect to your local host, set the time to day if it's night. Okay. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit laggy for me because again, I'm recording with multiple programs open and it's lowering the FPS. So we're gonna try saying hey server, or generally talk. Nothing's gonna happen, but if we say hi there server, or if we say hi server anything with the words containing hi and server in the same message you'll see a little message appear so we're gonna say hi there server and it's gonna say hello geek player so there we go we created our first very basic plugin um, it uses multiple variables a uh, player listener it uh, reads chat messages and responds to them dissects the message and looks for certain words in it and uh, incorporates variables that uh, state the player's name so yeah you've actually learned a good bit and I'm gonna be making some more bucket plugin tutorials so stay subscribed do some more research learn about some more plugins and then when my next video comes out be sure to watch it um, 1.8 pre-release has come out I believe this plugin should work with 1.8 with the new bucket if it doesn't, I'll make a quick update video and call it episode 6. Or I'll just put an annotation in here. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Again, please do subscribe because it did take a while to uh, do all this. It actually took a few hours just to set up the basic structure for the plugin so that I can make this tutorial. So if this helps and if it's working, subscribe if it didn't help or if it's not working please comment and tell me how it can be improved or what your issue is with the plugin uh thanks for watching